Hi, this is Dreema, and today we are doing a client reading, and this is a yes or no question reading. Now, I know who the client is and they know who they are. I won't be actually saying their name in the video just due to confidentiality issues. Um, today we're going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot deck, and this is one of my favorite decks, and I connect really easily to this deck. I'm also going to be using a five-card spread that will give us an answer to the question in a yes or no way. Now, the question, I really don't want to go into a lot of detail because of confidentiality, but basically, this uh, client, there's something they would like to do, and they just want to be sure that, um, you know, one way or another, if it's going to happen to them. So that is the question. Uh, what they want, will it happen? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay out our five-card spread, and then once I get it laid out, I will explain exactly um, what each card is going to represent. Okay. Then we have one, two. Now, I've already shuffled this quite a bit before I actually turned the camera on. Um, I usually do that for quite a few minutes just to kind of connect to the cards. Okay. Four, we need one more. And I like to touch them just to kind of see which one I'm led to. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can actually get a better look at these cards. And that would be our five-card spread. Now, I'm going to turn these over starting um, from left to right. And as I do, each card is going to represent a yes or a no. Now, when I turn them over, if the card is facing me upright, then it would be a yes. If it's in reverse, which would be upside down to me, um, then be facing that direction, it would be a no. Now, of course, the more um, yeses you have, the more likely that the answer to this question is yes. And the more no's you have, the more likely you are that it's going to be no. Okay? I'm going to start over here on the end. Okay? And the first one we have is a no. And then we have a yes. And then we have a no. And then we have a yes. And we have a yes. Okay. So we have one no, one yes, one no, one yes, and one yes. So basically what this means is that we, as you can see, we have two no's, one here and one here, and three yeses. So that would tell me that the answer to this question is more than likely yes, because we do have more yeses than we do no's. It, of course, is not all yeses. That would be kind of be ideal. Um, but this tells me that um, because it's three to two, that there is approximately about 80% chance that this will be a yes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say that the answer to the client's question in this case is yes. All right, um, that does conclude my reading for today. And I would like to thank everyone who has joined me and um, to ask that you please, you know, stop by again. Thanks.